Capricorn, you guys have something passionate happening. <laughs> so the sexy lingerie, I was feeling this during uh, pre-shuffle. This is all pre-shuffle. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a whole spread, but um, this could, for some of you, it could mean like there, there could be a little bit of a. I'm not saying that if you haven't ever done this to do this, but I feel more like it's for some of you that might want to bring that back or, you know, because that, there's some kind of uh, something about closeness and excitement. Okay. And then we have the Hierophant. This is high level relationship. So I don't know. I feel like something passionate is brewing and would help things a lot, that closeness. But we've got Ace of Torches. So some new passionate beginning. We've got Five of Torches. Now that's competition. So take that however it resonates. For some of you, it might be just a whole new like level of you know relationship for you with this person but there's something definitely passionate going on here also um this is i think about you non-stop so this could tie into the sexy lingerie that could be how did you know how what takes you guys to another level i'm not sure i'm just showing you pre shuffle but we're going to dive in and find out everything um but i also got make a decision and stick to it Okay, I just didn't write it down. All right, make a decision and stick to it, whatever that means. So stop waffling on something. So, hi Capricorn, how are you? Yeah, there's something with the lingerie or the intimacy um, that might, I don't know, bridge a gap. Something, I mean, I'm kind of hesitant to even say that because somebody might take it as they haven't gone there and they need to go, go there. That's not who I'm talking to. It's not pushing somebody to do something out of the, you know, out of the scope of where it's been. It's more somebody that could, you know, I don't know, maybe has a history. They can't stop thinking about it. Um, I don't know, just something to consider. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments. So I just saw King of Cups and uh, the Strength card. So there's a lot of love. Somebody's not even, look at this. I knew it. You guys, I'm so t in two, two, two on the clock just now on the camera when I saw, when I looked. Something very strong going on with y'all's energy. I bet you anything we're going to get two of cups. There is some sort of crossroad right now that I think could bridge a gap, bring you closer, um, or, you know, maybe, I don't know, could drift apart or, or, and we're going to, we're going we're gonna to find out really out of spread, but here's the five of torches. Again, we already got this. This is an indication possibly of maybe some bickering. It's not major arcana, um, but it could also be competition. So just, you know, keep that in mind. There's some sort of seven here too. I don't know. There's something about taking action. Look at this ace of cups. Okay. Let's lay out an organized spread here. What is going on with Capricorn? In love. All my videos are timeless, so please feel free to look. In fact, please just look through the other um, titles and see. You know, the titles can be a little cheesy sometimes just to get the uh, videos picked up, but the um, even if there's a cheesy title, the videos are, you know, really, really good um, regardless. So... Um, and then also, if you guys please hit like, share, subscribe, help get the videos into circulation. If you're not subscribed, that would really help the channel a lot if you watch the channel. I'm seeing that only like 20% are subscribed. I'm like, ah. Oh. So let's see if we can get that up. Ooh, see that did y'all see that trying to come out and I don't have any cards in reverse so that was that to me is pretty substantial so a card flipping out even though I kind of tried to discourage it princess of swords is wanting princess swords is wanting to come out so knight of swords in reverse so maybe somebody who fled left the scene bailed drastically or impulsively looks like could be on their way back in. Well, let's clarify it since it had so much strong energy. Huh, seven, okay. Are you guys seeing this, y'all? Queen of Swords, 
Yeah, somebody got cut out somewhere. Look at that. They're almost matching. So the, the Prince of Swords is somebody who rushes in quick, right? They, they come in. They're like the hero. They come in and they... Um, they're kind of like super decisive in that moment, but they're waffling. This is an inner, this feels like an energy of back and forth in and out. But then with the queen of swords, the queen of swords and the sword is up. This is someone who's decisive. She's verbal. She can hurt you with that sword, um, with her words, not literally, but with her words, she's clear and precise and decisive. She's kind of like, it is what it is. So, there's an element of somebody in and out and probably the person they're dealing with kind of like it is what it is not you know she's not going to put up with it something like that like i'm tired of it i'm ready to cut this out let's you know get this thing on the get this show on the road type type energy so we've got ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck wow that's wealth abundance and the moon all right well, let's keep those there for reference. Hmm. Your current energy. What is your current energy? I told you, oh my gosh, y'all, this is going to be a crazy reading. Two cups. That was one of the first things I said. We're going to get the two cups. I feel so, such so a strong twos. And um, your energy is wanting to give to somebody equally, hoping somebody will give back to you equally, hoping that you're not giving for no reason or that it's not appreciated or seen. These are two people who see eye to eye. They, they, um, two people who show it, two people who love each other, two people who give. There's not that question of always, how do you feel? You know, it's two people who are on the same page. So that's your energy. Okay, so overall, looks like there might be some drama. There is definite passion. Queen of Torches. Queen of, Queen of Wands, I'm sorry. The person on your mind right now, Princess of Swords. So they're kind of teetering with maybe light communication. So this is like a Page of Swords, or they could be watching you. The Page of Swords is very inquisitive, um, wants to see what's going on. It, it also does depict a messenger, somebody youthful, a kind of an imma, not a real mature energy. I don't want to say immature because I think that's a harsher way of saying not real mature. All right, this came out in pre-shuffle also, Eight of Pentacles, focused attention. Huh. The Eight of Pentacles is when you put effort in. So look how it's placed right, places right under the Two of Cups. And there's that moon we just had. Super strong, and look, it looks like another two. So somebody's sad. There's a lot of emotion here. I'm wondering if this person is... I keep hearing, kind of hearing the word wrath, feeling the wrath, here, feeling worried about being cut out for leaving back and forth. Oh, no, what did I do? Okay, so the moon is, it's things that are hidden, Things that can't be seen, um, fear. It's a lot of emotion. Things that are dark. We're gonna clarify. Pisces energy. Could be dealing with a cancer also. So we have a lot of fire, a lot of passion. There's a there's a like a an unsettled feeling about this right now about you guys. Six of torches, six of wands. Well, they want to be seen. They want you to notice. The Six of Torches is an element of, um, look at this, bottom of the deck, Magician. Aries Energy. That's all about what you can create. I, you know, the Magician has all the tools they need, the confidence. So there's an element here of needing to make sure, you know, keep your confidence up. Um... But the magician is somebody that if, you know, they, it's like kind of that, uh, I'm going to either, I'm going to achieve this or I'm going to die trying, you know, I'm going to hit my goals or, you know, take something, let's just take something little and you, you can blow it up to whatever, however it applies. But 
I'm going to clean, I need my house clean. Okay. So it's like, oh, but then I get distracted by this or my kid is sick or delivery, delivery, this happened or whatever. But it's kind of like that no matter what crosses my path and interrupts me today, I'm getting my house clean or I'm getting that paper finished or I'm getting that project done. It's kind of that mindset of I can create it. And yes, I might come across a trench or a ditch. I'm going to travel through the ditch. I'm going to find a way around it. I'm going to build a bridge. I'm going to call a helicopter. The magician is not going to stop. The magician is going to achieve goals. Okay. So that's a strong energy here too. So this has got a, you know, this is, has got a ton and oh my gosh, the one that other one we had at the bottom, somebody is going to achieve something, some great, something big and great could be financial, but there's definitely love here. And maybe this partnership will strengthen um, somebody. Now, remember, I'm going to, you know, when uh, this is going to happen, no matter what, no matter what, I'm going to achieve this goal. But I don't know if that has to do with you or your, you know, the relationship or if it's finances. I feel like it's both. There's two separate kind of storylines going on here, but there's a lot of attention here going into love also. Somebody may be so, you know, uh, dedicated to work and finances that they kind of are a little maybe dismiss the need for love or how they really feel. And I think this feeling, these feelings have snuck up on someone. Somebody was not wanting or intending to feel this way. The six of torches, six of wands, I'm sorry, I skipped around. But the six of, of wands is about being recognized being recognized. So somebody might be getting caught spying. <laughs> I don't know. The six of six of ones, somebody's being recognized um, for their value, being seen, you know, as successful. So there is success and love, you know, kind of woven in here together. Okay, so what interesting. What you cannot see, the hermit. The hermit is somebody who goes off and takes their time. They kind of hold back. They don't explain. They go back, they pull back, or they go off on their own. They just shut off all the noise of people, friends, the world, all the expectations we have spinning in our head, our negative self-talk. They go off in the quiet and they reflect. So that's what you cannot see. Somebody is doing some reflection of work towards love. Somebody may be realizing they didn't put enough in effort in but there's still a strong element there about being cut out um, the king of cups so focus on love this is uh, there's love here but remember what I want to say about this is something about remember that the love that's inside you that you feel is is you it's your love and you have that love and you can direct it whichever way you want it doesn't have to be wasted on someone it can go to someone else it's that love is you it's not i feel like somebody might be giving credit to someone else for how they feel but just kind of take that as a remember that that love is coming from you so the love is you you get credit for it Okay. Somebody else may be stirring it up or bringing it out of you. Seven of Swords. Wow, this is um, avoidance. So, yeah, what a pickle. My goodness. It looks like you guys are with somebody that wants, wants it, wants it, but then... I mean, this could change when we clarify. Seven of Swords. There's also an element here. Oh, maybe somebody's going to deny they were spying. <laughs> There's also an element here of um, hum humility is in like somebody might kind of be like have a little bit of a martyr uh, tendency where when they get compliments, they deny them or they don't accept them. They don't embrace them. They're like, no, no, this old thing, like, oh, that's so cute what you're wearing. Oh, no, this old thing. Don't do that. Be open to receive, okay? You guys are super strong. I feel some strong, strong energy here and, and capable, but be sure you, you know, can balance that with the feminine side, which is receiving, open to receive. 
Okay, so five of pentacles and the morning sun. Hmm. Three cups. And the lovers. So the five of, I don't think I've ever seen this card. How pretty. So the Five of Pentacles, we're going to have to start clarifying this. It's getting kind of deep. Okay, so the um, other card on the bottom of the deck, just to look, is the Four of Pentacles. So that's, there's somebody that's guarded with their heart. It's like they want, they know there's value here, they know it, but they've got something blocking. It's kind of like maybe they have to go in baby steps, you know. But they're watching. They may be watching you and your success somewhere, and that would be ideal if you had something good going on. Um, okay, so tell me about, let's do a clarifying row. Tell me about this first row. Oh my gosh. Wow. Freaky. It's freaky. It's freaky when this happens. I mean, how many cards are here in this same card? So the energy, the clarifier for this top row for you and them and kind of overall where you are is there's an a, a inability to let go, but there's also um, a feeling, it's like a, a protection. And there also is curiosity and passion. You guys need to get past some sort of barrier. Maybe that's where the lingerie, lingerie comes in. What about the second row? Four Pentacles protection. It's um, inability to. I don't want to lose you. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to lose you, but I'm also afraid to get hurt. So it's kind of like there. There's an element of being scared. Um, Eight of Pentacles. That's a focused attention. Remember, this Moon card has tears. So there's a lot of emotion. There's passion. But fear. A lot of love. If you take this row all the way down. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, gosh, I just don't like that. This is like there's somebody who's so afraid of, you know, opening up. I don't know if it's afraid of losing money or opening. There might be an element of money here. There's somebody who's so afraid of opening up that they um, are protecting. And a lot, you know, I'm finding out because we're going through this, like, you know, age of Aquarius and all this people are learning about their trauma and stirring up stuff. There's a lot of this going on right now where people are, you know, d dismissive avoidant or just avoidant where they avoid their feelings because it's it kind of triggers, you know, wound, past wounds. So let's get a, a okay. Four cups. Somebody kind of feels like this is where they want you when they don't have you. And then when they do, they're not sure. So it's kind of that in, out, in, out, bottom of the deck. Look at that. Six of cups. It's a return. You got somebody coming and going. There is love. There is passion. In and out. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe that isn't an oh my gosh. Maybe that slid off and I never shuffled it, but I feel like I shuffled this and here it is again. So six of cups. Hey, ten of swords bottom of the back. Yeah, it's like um, the pain of losing someone, something is brings somebody back. King of torches. Yeah, there's a passion, passionate relationship here. Passion, passion. King and queen of, of wands. Hmm. What else? Let's look at these. Why the Five of Pentacles? That's abandonment, feeling left out. Maybe something happened in the morning, or somebody feels fine at night, but then in the morning they start worrying. There could be a need. Somebody could have it like a anxious, preoccupied. They could be. It could be. So people handle, you know. 
childhood trauma or wounds differently. We go through, even with the best parents we have, you know, some of us can have, it's unlike, it's not unlikely to have childhood like abandonment wounds because most parents can't be there every time our, their kids are in need. Some parents were taught not to tend to their, well, I was taught not to tend to my children when they were crying, you know? Um, I don't know that I, re I don't think I, most, I don't think I hated that, but that's what we were taught. Um, so there is some sort of fear of abandonment here. So somebody might have like be anxious about, well, if I haven't heard from him in the morning, then I'm freaking out. You know, the best thing to do for that is what? Get busy, do something, do something, be active. Okay. Um, let's see what that five of pentacles, if we can get a clarifier on that. The sun, oh, the morning and the sun. Go outside, get some sun. That is like so healing. The sun is like the best natural antidepressant on the planet. Um, morning sun in your eyes, not, not sunglasses. Don't stare at the sun. You guys know that. But getting sun in the morning when it's at a low solar angle is stimulates hormones behind your eyes. Okay, so morning sun, super. Do that for four or five days and then you guys tell me if it hasn't made you happier. You're not happier. It's like better than, it, okay, I don't want to say it's better than vitamin B. <laughs> but like I was telling my daughter this morning, I was like, you got to take vitamin Bs or, you know, it's like the happy vitamin. And I mean, but it's the sun, morning sun. I like sunset sun too, because it also helps you prepare your body, know that nighttime's coming and your hormones control everything, right? But there is some element here about um, waking up, maybe fear the next day. And I think you need to self-soothe if you're struggling with that. We've got the lovers here. That's a decision. Maybe when you're feeling that, you go, okay, I, I recognize this feeling. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to get some sun. And I'm going to drink some water. How about a whole ocean? <laughs> All right, just kidding. Kind of kidding. Okay, tell me about the lovers card. So the decision is, you know, get some sense. So the best thing to do if you're feeling sad or worried or you're triggered in the morning because you haven't heard from them or whatever, take make a decision to take forward action. You go get sun on your face. You take, you get your body moving. You, you know, get yourself looking good, smelling good. Don't, don't sit and get caught up in overthinking, okay? Um, this, okay, this freaking me out a bit. Oh my gosh. And there's a judgment I didn't pull a minute ago. I don't know if you guys could see, but this Ten of Swords, I know I said it once, but it's like been in my face like three, four times. So cr crazy strong message or, you know, connection between y'all, y'all's energy and mine. So Ten of Swords is a painful ending. You have a return, judgment, a second chance. That might be when it would be good to bring out that, that lingerie because there is a need to break a barrier. There is, and it's got to be, I think it's got to be done without judgment. Oh, how about that? Without judgment. Meaning somebody's got to let go a little bit of the ego. Like even though there's past hurt, somebody's got to let go of the whole, I don't know, two people afraid to give. One person's anxious, always worried that they're going to be, you know, dismissed or whatever. And the other person's dismissive. It all stems from past experiences. So having that knowledge, you know, helps not the anger, but there is an ending, a painful ending followed by a return. This energy has not been dismissed and let go, maybe on the surface, but now not down deep. There is a lot of love. Tell me about the seven of swords. What are we avoiding? What's being avoided? Somebody is avoiding a return right now, I think. The six of, uh, hmm. This um, feels like somebody is avoiding... recognizing somebody else's value or their own value. Oh, look at that. The Empress. You might be dealing with a Libra. There's a three. Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay. I didn't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Twin flame. You guys, this has got a lot of twin flame energy. Wow. I have a twin flame connection. They're timeless. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was 22, 22. It wasn't, it was 24, 24. But, um, the, the, my extendeds are timeless. They are not 
recent, but they are timeless. So, and they're really good. I'll link them below. You can check them out. I, when I get the channel views, the numbers back up, I can start doing those again. But those take so, you know, they take a few hours. They're so in depth. We go into everything twin flame, you know, look for signs of, is, is it a twin flame? What's the time frame? What's the lesson? What's the shadow work? They just are freaking phenomenal but they take like the rest of the day for me to do. So I'm not, I, I'll start doing them when we get the channel numbers back up, you know, if you, if there's a want for them, but, um, super powerful, those twin flame extendeds. But anyway, look, Emperor Empress. So this is tough. You guys just keep in mind the things that are triggering you. We're going to do a yes, no. Okay. And we'll do a, a Oracle too, but the things that are triggering you with this person, things that trigger you or upset you or make you fearful, those are signs of where you're unhealed. It's not actually that that person did that. It's that it's pulling up a past energy, a past wound. It's opening a past wound. You guys are mirroring each other. Wow. I don't want to stop. Okay, let's do, you guys stop the camera if you need to and think about a yes, no. Um, and I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I just don't want to run out of time. Hangman. Again, it's like kind of like that hermit. It's There's an energy of um, seeing things differently, looking beyond the surface. I do think there's a need for you to see this. If you want to make this work, if you want to stick in there, because I think it's hard. But there's a need to see beyond the surface. Now, I don't ever want you guys to confuse a tarot reading with chasing somebody that's not showing you anything or that isn't, that you don't have something there with. This is not that. This is somebody, we're going to have to pull a card. This is somebody that um, you do have something substantial with, that there's been, you know, affection from, okay? This is not somebody that said that doesn't want to be with. This is a strong connection, okay? Um also, this Nine of Cups is in reverse. I feel like this is a need to really ask yourself, you know, about self-love, um, what you can do to care for yourself, because there is an element of, I'm not getting my needs met, I'm not getting my needs met, and naturally we look to the person that we want to fill our needs. So there's a need to do that. I also feel like this is not hit its full potential, but there is some need for you guys to um, see things beyond surface value that kept, kept coming up. Let's see what, so we, so the pendulum landed on this. So that is this. So we're going to pull a card. And I felt this, this is the card that the sexy lingerie is in. So this is, um, I felt this deck before I even started. So yeah, you guys, your energy, this is a little freaky. Maybe the freakiest Capricorn reading yet. Just the way the cards, I mean, just won't. They wouldn't stop coming out once I, if I didn't read them. Very repetitive. Missing you. So whatever your question was, there you go. They, this person does definitely miss you. And it's not, this is not a light energy. This is heavy. Let's do a oracle. Oh, I feel like I need to pull another one. Okay, work on your gratitudes. Those help change your mindset. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. Also, I just picked up on heart chakra. You guys, um, you can Google it, but heart chakra, um, maybe when you sleep, let heart chakra binaural beats play. Green, I was just going to say green. Green, wear green, look at green, hold something green, a green gem. I release the need to know all the answers. There you go. And you're thankful for the opportunities. Okay, one more. One more. You guys, please hit like if you haven't yet. Subscribe and tap the bell and, so you, and tap all so that you get notified. Please, please, please. It helps the channel so much. I'm about to start doing lives. I've just um, in the, got, um, I didn't pay for it, but I, um, I've just got a new piece of equipment that's going to help with lives, hopefully, because I tried to do lives and they were pretty crappy because I didn't know what I was doing. 
Oh my gosh. I This was pre-shuffle also. You guys have a strong connection here. Okay, can't stop thinking about you. Missing you. Sexy laundry. There's a need to get past a barrier to that closeness. All right? Doesn't mean you stay hurting over someone, but you try what you can. All right, I love you. Let's talk in the comments. I'll see you guys in the comments, and we can chat there. I love you so much. Bye, Kathy.